Laurent Anakobian, a draw today, but far from a solid draw. Very interesting game. Tell us a little bit about the opening and what happened, Laurent. Well, it started very um, quiet. I mean, it was Slav uh, exchange, so but uh, then Vaudrans uh, went for a very sharp line, which I knew quite well, at least uh, better than, than him. And um, OK, it's very sharp position. I know that black is at least OK, but uh, I don't know if more or not. I think it was pretty, maybe it was pretty correct game, but I didn't check it with a computer yet, so <laughs> we may have some surprises. What about you? Were you expecting the Slav and was this part of your preparation and how much was it? I wasn't really expecting Slav uh, too much today. Uh, for some reason, I just looked at Laurent's game and I thought he will play Kings Indian or maybe, maybe small chance Dutch. I don't know, but that's I was kind of prepared for that. I mean, he also plays other openings, so you can really prepare for all the openings uh, very deeply here. But uh, but he was a Slav and I was, you know, I didn't go for this exchange Slav right away and I played Knight F3 first to see maybe he will play E6 and I was going to play something else. But after knight f6, I just didn't know anything better. Like, I could play some lines, which I don't know very well, or I can play positions that I kind of feel comfortable. So I went for this exchange line, and uh, but I played this queen b3 move instead of e3, e3. I played a couple of games, but it usually leads to like a you know forced long draw. So after queen b3, it was very interesting, but then uh, he caught me with uh, you know nice preparation, and uh, I was spending a lot of time, and I knew that I was caught, but I just didn't have. I had a choice either just to go uh, back or just try to you know play it safe or go for the critical line, except the pawn sacrifice. But then it's going to be very sharp, but uh, which I did. And at some point, I had like 35 minutes left. He still had like one hour 29 or something. So, so it was really bad as far as the time. But I think my position was still pretty much okay. I, I don't think I was losing anywhere. But uh, and then he played uh, excellent uh, couple of moves. I thought Bishop F6 and uh, Queen B6, which was, I think, part of the preparation. But the Bishop F6 was very strong move. And then I didn't see anything else to do. I had like 13 minutes, so I just went for Knight G5 and just for some simplification so I can just, uh, you know, make some moves, get closer to the time control, and then I think uh, at least uh, it was just kind of uh, forced, you know. I don't think we missed a win anywhere for him or for me. Right, now you were up on time quite a bit. Did you feel that there was any point that you might have missed something? Yes, <laughs> I, thi I think I could press uh, more, but okay, well, John defended very well, I must uh, I must say, after my, my even in the end game, I mean, he played very precisely. So, um, I mean, we, we had the post-mortem, I mean, I couldn't, uh, I defended very well, so probably just, uh, just okay, or I don't know, maybe the, the computer will uh, point, uh, point out something, but okay, you cannot be prepared. Then. Already I knew up t till move 20, so I remember, this is a miracle <laughs> that I remember so, so, so far. Okay, I was lucky that I checked it two days ago uh, for my game against Juventus, so... I mean, I cannot be prepared more than more than that. So it it was it's okay. I mean, I had some chances, but he defended it very well. Right. I mean, also with the black pieces to get this huge time advantage to come out, it's already a success in your preparation, yeah. I'm not sure. I'm very happy with my <laughs> with my preparation today, uh, and also after. Okay, I tried to pose some problems, but uh, I didn't see it. So um, it's okay. Right now, plus four. You're going into the last round. What are you, what is your strategy, or what is it that you're hoping for going into this last round? Because it's still a lot of players that uh, fighting for the top spots. Well, I think uh, I think they just told me that uh, Anton won, so it looks like the first place is already uh, theoretically gone. So just you know, I have to play a good game in the last round. I'm here to play good players, as I mentioned before before the U.S. Championship. So I'm happy to play strong players, get some practice, and. Uh, and later analyze my games to figure out where, you know, where I can improve maybe. I have two more months to prepare. And you're quite happy with the way the tournament's gone uh, for you? Yeah, I am. I didn't lose any games. I played four very strong uh, players, you know, very similar and high rated than I'm going to face. So, you know, this was the plan. That's yeah. why I wanted to have a good start so I can play strong players, which I already did. I'll probably I will get to one more very strong player in the last round and uh, play my best. Right, Laurent, you're probably going to have the white pieces tomorrow going for the kill. All in. <laughs> yeah, and tomorrow it will be... Okay, it's clear that, uh, okay, we cannot reach first place, but this is... Um, I understood it even maybe before the tournament. <laughs> so, but okay, plus five is very... I mean, it's like kind of shared third or something. So, of course, it makes big difference. And, uh, I mean, a draw or a loss... I mean, it's, a it's not the same, of course. It's never the same, but, uh, I mean, a win matters much. So, all in. Well, we're looking forward to seeing both of you in action. Good luck for the last game. Thank you. Thank you.